Hello YouTube and welcome to another Proxmox tutorial. So in this video we will continue our journey discovering monitoring tools for Proxmox. So as you have seen on my last video I showed you how to install a free tool for monitoring and management actually Proxmox which is called Prox Menu X. So you can take a look at this video to see how you can install it and use it. But in this video we're gonna see another free tool called pulse so are you ready let's get started so first thing first we have to head to the github repo for this tool monitoring tool for proxmox okay so here we go so as you can see this is the repo for uh, pulse Okay, so it's under R Codeman. Okay, so you can see here the different files. Okay, so let's uh, read the overview of, of this tool. Pulse is a modern unified dashboard. Okay, so it's the dashboard actually for monitoring your infrastructure across Proxmox, Docker, and also Kubernetes, which is pretty interesting. Okay, it consolidates metrics, alerts, and AI powered insight from all your system into a single beautiful interface so as you can see here we have this beautiful interface okay so it has a lot of features so we have some core monitoring features like unified monitoring smart alerts auto discovery metric history backup explorer okay so you can take a look at this page and see what you can do using it okay so there is also a quick start guide for actually just running this uh, monitoring tool under uh, LXC container okay so you can just grab this URL and launch your LXC container or you can also use a docker container for that so you have to create for example uh, docker compose file or just run also this docker command okay so actually we're gonna just install this uh, monitoring tool using this uh, docker command okay so i will copy the command here and hopefully i have actually a nlxc container which actually is running docker so here we go this is my container here called monitor and it's running docker so i can verify that using docker version okay so it has version 26.1.4 so all i have to do now is to paste the command that i have copied from the github repo so i'll just paste it here we go and let's hit enter and see what we get so of course it was enabled to find the image locally so it will download it from the github repo so those are the different layers of our uh, docker image okay so now hopefully our docker is running we can just verify that using the command docker ps docker ps to see if it's really running and indeed you can see here on the first actually line it's running on port actually 7655 so let's open a new page and uh, we'll be using the IP address of this container but with this port here 7655 okay and here we go we can access our docker container using the IP address of the LXC container and with the port 765 and 5 okay so let's unlock the setup wizard okay so to begin set up retrieve the bootstrap token from your pulse host so from the docker host we actually will be using this command here docker exec 
cat bootstrap token ok so let's execute this command here and of course we'll be replacing the name of it with our docker name which is pulse I guess I mistyped something, yes. I don't need this uh, inferior sign. Here we go. So this is the token, okay? So let's copy it because we need it in order to unlock our setup. So I will copy it and I will return back to the pulse. And I will paste it here, okay? Here we go. And let's unlock the wizard. Here we go. So now we can... Uh, go through the initial security setup so the admin username is admin and we can set up a password for example here i will just use some trivial password hope i didn't mistype something so i will use the, the, the dark team So this is the password that I have used, which is password.2025, okay, the credential will never be shown again, save them in a password manager now, okay. So let's uh, download the credentials, maybe we'll need them sometime, okay. And let's continue actually our login, okay. So let's log in now and see what we get so I'll check this remember me okay here we go so this is our dashboard but as you can see we have nothing here we must add our Proxmox virtual environment okay so add Proxmox VE node in the setting tab to start monitoring your inter infrastructure so I will go to the settings here we go and I will add a PVE node, okay? So here uh, I need node name, so Pulse uses level across the dashboard. So I'll just call it Proxmox, Proxmox01 for example. Here I will give it the IP address of my Proxmox, which is 192.168.30.201 and of course the port is 28006 so for the guest I don't need that because it's optional we can use an API token which is recommended but let me just go for uh, username and password okay so here I will use the root and password for my Proxmox, okay? So I don't need to verify the SSL certificate because I'm using just the self-signed one. Monitor physical desk health, so I don't need that also. So let's try to test the connection first. So the connection is successful, so I can add the node here we go so the node has been added okay so as you can see with this uh, tool I don't need to install an agent for example on my proxbox okay and here we go now you can see that uh, if you go to this overview tab you can see here your node the uptime the CPU the memory and the desk also okay so if you monitor your desk using smart, you can also see its temperature. So we have here the number of VMs, the number of containers, okay? And of course we can search and filter with any VM or uh, container actually. So you can see here, for example, this is the monitor LXC container where I have installed my, uh, this tool actually, okay? So we have also Grafana that it is running here. So 
of course on the bottom you get uh, summary to run in and 66 are stopped okay we can go to the storage we can see the different storages that I have here on my Proxmox server okay if we have any replication we don't have any replication and actually the state of uh, backups also is shown here okay So as you can see it has a neat and uh, beautiful interface, easy to use, easy to uh, actually you can also filter as I told you, easy to use, easy to manage your uh, different uh, containers here, okay? And of course you can dig deep into this tool using the documentation, so of course here on the GitHub repo you have documentation for installation gate configuration security api reference architecture and troubleshooting okay so for me it's a great tool because it doesn't need any agent to be installed on my proxmox and i can and also it's very lightweight uh, program so it doesn't require a lot of resources okay so that was just a brief introduction to this fancy tool for monitoring your Proxmox virtual environment. So of course, if you like the video, don't forget to share it, leave a comment or a like as you like. I will also respond to any question if you ask it, okay? So that was just a brief video to introduce you to this uh, pretty nice tool. Otherwise, I hope it has been informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing. Bye-bye.